Between the weather and those limits on bars and restaurants, New Year's Eve celebrations figure to be subdued tonight. Still, you can expect to hear fireworks around midnight. THV 11's Rolly Hoyt says one mayor is even making it a little more legal. This fireworks shop in Saline County has some fireworks that pretty much sum up 2020. I see super annoying bombs away and of course one bad mother. Now fireworks aren't legal everywhere, but up in Cabot, the mayor there is saying New Year's Eve is the perfect time to put this rotten 2020 behind us and legally go into the new year with a bang. Yeah, kind of saying welcome 2021. Goodbye 2020. Cabot Mayor Ken Kincaid hears the voices of a lot of people. Fireworks are normally illegal, but they loosened up last 4th of July. That limited window to light the night proved popular, reason enough to bring it back on New Year's Eve. We thought too, you know, it's still COVID's going on around us. People are limited to their travel plans, uh, can't go many places. So what we thought was, you know what, they did so well July 4th, let's do it again. So light them if you got them, Cabot. You've got until 1230 in the morning. Other fireworks laws and advice still apply, and the mayor is stressing this is not an excuse to get everybody together for a blast after the bars close early. I feel like everybody's going to abide by the law, and if they do shoot it, they're going to be at home with their families. Other cities will still be enforcing fireworks bans. Little Rock sets up a special email address to field reports. Kincaid wants to lighten the load for his police, too, but he thinks this way is more realistic. And you know as well as I do, a lot of people are going to shoot fireworks anyway, or shoot guns outside or something. Uh, this time of year. Go on and have a blast. This mayor hopes it makes you happy. I just feel like our citizens are going to obey and be respectful of people's properties and uh, not break the law and do what's right. Rolly Hoyt, THV 11 News. Well, you got to remember the rules in Cabot could be very different from where you live. Check with your local police, sheriff, or fire department before you do.